Welcome to another Todd's Two Minute Tech Tip Tuesday. Brought to you by the National RV Training Academy. The only academy that gives you the credentials to become a certified tech and or certified inspector. So today let's talk about how much can your truck actually tow. So you go online and you see all these different answers because we see it all the time. People say, I've got this kind of truck, how much can my truck tow? Well, there's so many different fake facts and figures out there that it gets all kinds of convoluted. So I want to take the complete guesswork out. What you need to do is find out the dry weight of your truck. And then you need to add yourself, you need to add your wife, you need to add all your cargo that's in there. So let's think about this. You haven't been a buck 95 since high school, even though your license says it, we all know that that's not true. You're gonna ask your wife how much she weighs. Now you're gonna go to your kids and your dog, and you have to add all this up. That doesn't quite make sense. Let's just stop all the math with this. Go over to a truck stop and pull in and go onto a certified scale, okay? What we need is just a couple numbers from the manufacturer of your truck. First thing to do is get what's called the gross vehicle weight rating, the GVWR. Now that's gonna be located on the driver's side door on the door jam. So you're looking for GVWR. That's gonna tell you what the total amount of the truck plus all your cargo. So you're gonna pull up on that truck scale fully loaded. So it's you, your wife, your kids, everything in there and full gas. Let's go ahead and just max this thing out. You're gonna get on that scale. That scale is going to give you a total weight for your truck. It's going to give you your front axle, it's going to give you a rear axle, and it's going to give you a total weight. That total weight is going to be your gross vehicle weight. Simply subtract that from your GVWR, and you'll actually see the difference. Now, if you're already over the gross vehicle weight rating, then your truck is too small. Either that or you need to get rid of your wife. You either go to your owner's manual, or you can go online to your manufacturer, and you're going to look for what's called the gross combined vehicle weight rating. Gross combined vehicle weight rating and what that is that's the total weight of your truck fully loaded with what it can pull I'm gonna break this up in three sections the first section is gonna be your cargo that's you and your truck in the front the second section is gonna be your trailer we need to find out what the total amount of your trailer is the third section is even though that trailer has its own axles you're still putting weight on that truck if you've got a bumper pull you're gonna look about 10% of the GV WR of your trailer if your trailer is 8,000 pounds, you're going to put about 800 pounds on the bumper. Now, if you've got a fifth wheel or you got a gooseneck, you're going to look at about 25%. So for easy math, if I have a 10,000 pound uh, fifth wheel, then I'm going to put about 2,500 pounds on the back of that axle. Once you put that weight on there, you have to add that to your GVW, your gross vehicle weight. Okay? That will let you know, again, with your trailer on there, that will let you know if you've exceeded your GVWR because that's your cargo plus the weight of your trailer. Now the gross vehicle or the gross combined vehicle weight rating is going to be the truck, your cargo loaded on there and the trailer. Now if you're below the combined gross vehicle weight rating then you're good to go. So three sections that we want to look at. We're going to look at the GVWR, the gross vehicle weight rating of your truck with all your cargo. Right? So if you're below that GVWR, whatever you have below, that's going to be how much weight you can actually put on it. Now if your trailer, your truck, and your cargo are all below your gross combined vehicle weight rating, you're good to go. If you want to be able to fix 80% of the problems on your RV, check out our home study course at the nrvta.com website. If you'd like to earn an income and create a business while on the road, check out our website at nrvta.info, fill out the form, and start your business today. Does your truck squat low? Does your tail swing to and fro? Can you back it in the spot? Does it even really tow? Uh, what you doing over there? Nothing. Yeah, I see that. Are we live? We're on, yeah. Yeah, no, in your hand. No. <laughs> Todd's Two Minute Tech yeah. Tip Tuesday, Tuesday, yeah. Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, you flipped that up. I saw that. All right, so how did you say we want to oh. do this now? That's right. Two Minute, two minute Todd, right here. <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> Your camera. You know, you have to be smarter than the actor. Bam! Look at that. All in one shot. Just in case this sucks, let's do this normal. Tuesday, Tuesday. The only academy that gives you the training and the Ah, training. Because we're a training academy. Do I need to do my song again? 
Yeah. Wait a minute. What? I don't understand what you're saying. Ah! All right. So that's what we could do this time around. And then we'll, we'll, I'll do another one here in just a second. And we'll do if you're looking to buy one.